Yeah, no. In fact, you know, this morning, it always starts out cold, typically, typically this time of year. I mean, we got down in the upper 20s in Oklahoma City, 25 in El Reno, but parts of northern northwest Oklahoma got down into the low 20s and teens. And there's a good reason, especially in the northwest, they still have snow on the ground. That definitely makes a difference. You can see all the white that's across north central, northwestern Oklahoma, and even out in the panhandle. There's still some light snow on the ground out there. But yeah, here in Oklahoma City, it melted very quickly. Obviously, we didn't get a whole lot, but this is our National Cowboy Museum camera, part of our Lucky Star Sky Chem Network. Temperatures warming up pretty quickly already. We're at 56 degrees with the help of a west-southwest wind at 14 miles an hour. Wind gust up to 25. Temperatures in the north and northwest only in the 40s still, but the rest of us have 50s, upper 50s, some low 60s already beginning to show up. So it's going to be a fairly mild afternoon, a southwest wind between about 10 to 20 miles an hour. And it's going to stay breezy throughout the afternoon, at least into the early evening as well. So just kind of looking at nationwide, things are pretty quiet. We do have some snow showers with the Great Lakes and lots of snow moving off to the north and east, but nothing headed our way, at least over the next couple of days. That's going to change, though, once we get to about Thursday. That next storm system, it is off the west coast, and that will be impacting us as we get into more so Thursday afternoon to Thursday evening. But good news is, for most of us, it's just going to be a plain rain. Temperatures will be warm enough for that, but on the back side of that parts of northwest western Oklahoma there is still a chance of a wintry mix eventually transitioning over to all snow but accumulations look even lighter than what they did last time. Now we've got storm number two on the way. This looks like it's going to arrive sometime during the day on Saturday. It also looks pretty weak and generally just to the north, but it should be just enough to give us a little bit of rain later in the afternoon and evening. And then after that, we actually look dry and just cool for a while. But we're still looking at the potential of another storm system. So we're going to call it storm number three that could move in in the next week or two. And this looks like it would be sometime December 8th and December 9th. So we're kind of looking at next Friday into Saturday. And as of right now, it looks like, yes, rain with some snow on the back side of that but even some of the latest data coming in looks drier so of course this is still several days out so many things are going to change with that particular storm the amounts the timing precipitation at all if it's going to happen so we'll fine tune it as we get a little bit closer but today went ahead and erased that temperature to about 60 degrees at this point in Oklahoma City. There's no doubt we should be able to do that. We're going to stick with the low 50s across the north, but low to mid 60s in parts of southern Oklahoma. And then overnight tonight, slowly those clouds will increase. Temperatures drop down into the upper 20s though again, and we're still looking at the low to mid 20s across north central, northwestern Oklahoma. Tomorrow afternoon, we should be able to make it back into the 60s. So 62 in Oklahoma City, about 63 in Ardmore, 55 though in Alva, and 59 tomorrow afternoon in Clinton. Now Thursday afternoon, temperatures will be a little bit cooler. We're still going to have more of a southeast wind between 10 to 20 before the front eventually moves through, but we're going to have a lot more cloud cover, and eventually the rains should pick up later in the afternoon now, especially across the south. So it's going to move in from the south and southwest and make its way to the north as we go throughout the day. But by Thursday evening, it's almost pretty much guaranteed guaranteed at this point that we're going to have some scattered showers around. Certainly going to be a cold rain. So on the back side of that, we're looking at a light wintry mix eventually transitioning over to all snow more so as we get into Thursday night. But that's still going to stay in western and northwest Oklahoma. While the metro, central, southern, eastern Oklahoma, it is just going to be a plain cold rain. So how much are we looking at this time around? Well, still it looks like to be minor accumulation at this point. So we're seeing the darker blue. And just southwest of Woodward, we could see maybe up to a couple of inches the farther north and east you go. We're talking maybe a trace, and that's about it. So again, for Thursday, for most of us, it will be just rain. Friday during the day, it does look dry. It also looks colder with temperatures dropping down into the upper 40s with that next chance of rain arriving Saturday. And then next week, at least for now, most of the days look pretty cool and quiet.